I'm Miss Corinne, and it's time for tales. This story is about a young princess and her mother, the wise queen. Well, the young princess lived with her family in a big castle on the edge of a vast green meadow that was full of flowers in the spring. And around the meadow, there was a deep, dark, lush forest. The princess loved to skip and play in the meadow and run in and out between the trees on the edge of the tall grass. And when she skipped and played, it sounded a little bit like this. Well, her mother, the queen, was very wise, and she told her daughter, my dear, Run and play as much as you like in the meadow, but be careful not to go too deep into the forest because it's very dark and deep, deep in the forest, there are bears. Well, when the wise queen spoke, it was a beautiful melody to the young princess's ears. It sounded a little bit like this. one lovely spring day, the princess was playing and skipping on the edge of the meadow just under the shady canopy of the trees. When she looked up and realized she had gone a lot farther than she meant to. She had been having so much fun that she had wandered way deep into the forest until she couldn't even see the edge of the woods anymore. There was no sign of the meadow, no sign of the castle, and all of a sudden, the princess heard a low growl. Oh no, it must be a She hiked up her skirts and ran as fast as she could. <sighs> At last she stopped, exhausted feeling she could not run one yard further. She looked up and there, not far in front of her, was the glimmering green meadow through the trunks of the trees. And at the top of the meadow, there was the castle. The princess looked around and she listened, but there was no sign of a bear or any other monster, just birds singing happily in the trees. The princess was so happy and relieved that she began to skip all the way back to the meadow. <laughs> just beyond the edges of the trees was her mother, the queen. Oh, my dear daughter, we were so worried about
about you. Where have you been? The princess told her mother how she had played and skipped and run and not looked where she was going and had wandered too deep into the forest, just like her mother had warned her not to. She hung her head, ashamed. But her mother, the queen, wrapped her up in a big hug and said, I'm so glad that you're okay. Let's go home now. And she took her daughter's hand and they walked home together.